one of the most important developments is that we have increasing rates of childhood anorexia. And that is a big problem for us because we still do not have very effective methods to treat children. And we have to do more research to find treatment methods that will also be helpful for children. Another important point is that I think we, have, we by now have rather good treatment methods for anorexia nervosa, especially to treat the starvation-induced state, to, to treat starvation and to help the patients to have a healthier body weight in a shorter time. And during the last 20 years, the prognosis of anorexia has become much better in the adolescent group. And I think this is mostly because we have better methods to help patients to be not that long in the state of starvation as it has been 20 years ago. We have several methods. One is, for example, nutritional therapy. We build up the diet of the patient, but we also have, uh, I think, very good psychotherapeutic methods where we are in a very near contact with the patient and um, talk with her what she thinks the problems are that led to anorexia and will probably also will help her out. And we also, and that is another major point, involve the parents very much in treatment of eating disorders. I think you need a very good relation with the patient, with the parent. Um, you know, they often feel stigmatized, uh, parents feel stigmatized, they feel guilty because of the eating disorder of their daughter, because many lay media still tell that the um, the origin is in the family. And I think if you, if you may tell them that they are the best co-therapists and not the origin of the disorder, then you have a very good relationship. We made a rather large uh, RCT, randomized controlled trial, where we compared these two arms, continued inpatient care with day patient care, and we really found out that day patient care was much better working than inpatient care, and we are now aiming at going even one step further. Uh, we would like to, uh, con to perform a sort of home treatment. That means that we go into the homes of the patients and then treat them with their family. It is much easier in day patient treatment to transfer the acquired skills home than in inpatient treatment where you are discharged one day and then you have to do it on your own. Mm -hmm. But if you are accustomed over a long period of time, then it is much easier you know, to take them from the clinic into your home. Well, one of these neuropsychological strategies is cognitive remediation therapy that is presented by Kate Chanturi at this Congress. I think that is a very new idea because um, she does not really look at gaining weight, but she looks at changing um, the cognitive way, uh, the cognitive strategy, the cognitive style of anorectic patients, and she helps them to uh, to see things more flexible. You know, to see the wood and not only the trees. Well, I really hope that we make some progress because the prognosis of anorexia is still not good. And um, I really hope it gets better, but I'm definitely not quite sure. Perhaps one day we'll, we'll find a sort of medication or we'll find a sort of hormone or we find an appetite regulate, regulating agent. I think perhaps we need a sort of wonder of that kind to really help every patient with anorexia nervosa. Where is your hope? In gene research or where is it? Um, perhaps in gene research, but also in um, in hormonal research, in um, appetite regulating hormones. I think that might be an important step too in the future. Mm -hmm.